and you're sitting at home doing this shit, and you should be honor a medal for this. Stop fucking around and be a man. There ain't nothing out here for you. But yes, there is. This. Okay, okay, okay. The wait is over. That's we right. are back like we left our hat. <laughs> no disrespect to podcast. Episode what? 11. Double ones. Yep. Like the Twin Towers. Uh-huh. But we ain't going forward. Oh, no. No disrespect. No disrespect. Oh, to the family. No, no disrespect to the family. That was tragic. Where was you at when that shit happened? You remember that shit? My house. I was in the bed. I was on the boat. And I ain't talking about the cruise shit. Oh my god. <laughs> I was locked up in that shit. I thought it was a movie. Anyway, um, as we said before, this is no disrespect, meaning that we mean no disrespect to anybody, to anybody you know, anybody you, you care for, anybody you, you don't like. Fuck it. We just don't, we don't mean to disrespect anybody. We just want your ears, we want you to listen, we want to entertain you. You know what I'm saying? While being informative and passing on private, positive energy for you and yours to live by. And with that said, it's me, your man Pukim, the American Dream, and I'm always blessed with the presence of Miss Sunny Days and Cool Ass Trav. And today is our first host, our first guest, aka our guest host, our second yeah, guest yeah. host, um, Mr. Kareem Nelson from WAG Wheelchairs Against Guns Association. Yeah, yeah. So give it up for for Kareem yes. for, for coming. Our first official guest to yes. no disrespect. Hey, what's up? So, hey, what's up? Um, what's going on, y'all? Um, y'all call me Goat, man. Just call me G O A T. Okay, all right. Like LL. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like Earl. Okay. Earl. Okay. Like Earl. Yeah. 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 Like Cheap when I finish my Chinese food, okay. I would twirl a um, what the napkin? Yeah, the napkin and chew it. I don't know what it's like. Alright, so shout out to B man. Alright, well, just thank you for for coming because I know you know we small platform, but you know I want to appreciate we appreciate the love and everything. So um, again, thank you for coming. Yeah. Um, so you know we're gonna talk about your organization. We're gonna have some fun. Um, we got a little bit of liquor. <laughs> you know, um, I can't party too hard, Jen. Not yet. Yes. So, well, we gotta um, give a birthday shout out to Pookie. It's his birthday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Second, second birthday home. Whoa, yeah. tell me stretch. about it. Yes. Tell me about it. I yeah. said, God, I see two birthdays in a row in the street since 17, 18. Wow. How much time you did? Just now? Yeah. About five and some change. Before that, I was in and out since like 2001. Back and forth, like fucking ping pong. Man, man, you know what's crazy though? Um, we um, my organization, we um, uncovered something. We'll get into it later, but why, why we all go through the same thing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying from yeah. here, all across America. You know what I'm saying yeah. throughout the inner cities, it's all the same. Like we could go to Chicago, LA, and not to say that we were blending with the gang culture, but we were blending as as far as far as the inner city go because we come from poverty and we know every we we going through the same thing we're going through in Chicago as in New York, so. And that mass conservation shit is everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But speaking yeah. of mass conservation, you know, Trump didn't hire somebody else and want to put harsher laws on drug cases and things like that now. So I wouldn't jaywalk right now if I was in my I mean, movie. that's crazy. I don't know, man. That shit is, that shit is just crazy. But well, crime is actually down. No, it is. Because yeah. as much as we can say about the young, the youth, it's not as many wild motherfuckers as it was back in our day. Not nah, as many. Nah, nah, I can't say that though. You know what it was? Difference back in the days? It was 2020, it went from 2,500 to 3,000 bodies dropping in New York. But what the difference was, it was no games. You know what I'm saying? If they wanted their man, they was going to get their man, they was killing them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. It wasn't no, oh, we going to miss indirectly. The murder rate was up because they wasn't allowing the snitching. The snitching, um, Ugh. quote unquote, Ugh. phenom wasn't right. as respected as it is. So right now, 
You think it's respected? No, I say that right now it is. I don't think it's respected. I mean, maybe because I, mean, I still got the old shit. When, you, when he said respected, right. When I say respected, I mean that a dude would come on from being, from, from, from going to prison and telling all people to come back to the same community and be accepted. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. I don't think, I mean... Yeah, I see. I see exactly what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Me, I'm looking at I'm, a different I'm, era, though. I let a motherfucker live because I'm afraid. See, I'm afraid of him. I'm not accepting him. I'm afraid that what you did to him, you could probably do to me. Yes, indeed. You know. I don't and, know. and shit, prison. I see motherfuckers jumping out the window, avoiding prison now, because mm. it's fucked up. I went to prison for somebody telling him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, and I and I know how it is. So, just on the structure of that. When I be telling the kids, they be like, well, how's jail? I be like, well, you know, they talk about hell is hot. Well, jail is, that's jail. Hell is jail. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to die to go to hell. You want to go to hell, just get to get locked up. Hell on and, earth. Hell on earth. You know what I'm saying? We, de we definitely going to get into that. We definitely going to get into that. <laughs> because I looked at your, I looked at your Instagram. Um, I see that you did some, some federal time. Yeah. Did you state time? No, no. Just no. federal time. Okay, because I did, there's some questions I want to ask you about federal and state because... You know, it's to to everybody always looks at federal like being a a good jail to go to and and say it's better. But anyway, <laughs> let's 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 start off with some little current events. You know, before we get into uh, to everything, mm -hmm. rumpers. First of all, is that how you say it? Cause you rumpers, that's, yeah. That's a real woman's thing, like. Yeah, I, it's like, a. I I wouldn't even identify it as, as women. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a woman's thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a fashion trend that's been around for a very long for time. Women. For, for women. For women. Okay. I, okay. Yeah. So, why is it so big right now? Why is she on my timeline? I'm tired of it. I I think it's another distraction. Of what? Of what? I just a way to get people to look away from something, and I, I just I, that's why I was saying we kind of got into it before we started, but I think um. A lot. I think a lot of times the media would take things and, and tag it to a specific um, trend to make it negative or make it funny or make it however they want to make it, however whatever light they want they choose to put it in to distract people from something else bigger that's going on that we really mm -hmm. should be paying attention to. Like who the fuck cares about a rumper, right? Um, f for one, whether you're gay, straight, whatever, it's not really an appealing look to me. In my opinion, it does look not like for men. For, for, to, for women, I'm sorry, I'm a big girl. I don't look right in the rumper, so I'm not, I'm not somebody who's going to be like, oh, yeah, rumper. No, I got a belly. You know, I, I look pregnant when I wear a rumper, right? So I'm not really, like, caring for them anyway. Um, but to me, a rumper has always reminded me of a prison suit. It might be because I'm a prison baby. I grew up okay. in prisons all the time. It's something I saw. So when I saw a rumper, the first thing I thought when I saw the jokes was, this is not even a gay thing to me. It's almost like they're projecting an image of something and trying to normalize it. Well, they're trying to make it appear normal. And because it's being on your timeline repeatedly, drunk or rumper, even if it's a joke, we're still being programmed to look at something, regardless of how we're seeing it and what light, whether it be a gay joke or a style joke, a trend, whatever, how we're looking at, we're being programmed to watch something repeatedly and, and be it's, it's trying to make it seem normal for us to see something that we should not be accepting is how I, okay, was, so, I was trying to say. All right, for one, it's the jumper in prison because they, they don't have they have shorts, um, shorts sets. They have long, but they have rumpers come as pants sets also. It's not just shorts. I think the rumper comes to, to the term when 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 it's short. I no, but I they have long. They have pants, it's long ones too. It's a whole. It's a That's whole. a jumper. No, it's not. But they're so they're, the, they're pant rumpers. <laughs> It's it, so a what do the military yeah. dudes wear? What do the military dudes wear? So the pilot. Okay, yes. Pilot All right, wear? exactly. But again, you, I you said my perception of it was the a same prison thing suit. that mechanics wear. Yes. yes. A jumper. Again. A jumper. No, but the see, a mechanic don't have the, the legs. No, no, I understand that part. <laughs> but, but again, I'm the just legs saying, but shit, take you note that I, I said when they fix the car. My perception was because of my own personal life and what I used to see okay. for that image. But well, hold up. When we was coming up, they, I think, I, if, I recall, if I recall, they used to wear rumpers with the espadrilles, right? Um, okay, now, what the fuck is the espadrille? <laughs> hey, 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 I've heard that word this week. <laughs> And no, that, uh, it's more like Dickies or like Is that a female shoe or? Nah, it's, it's, or, or, it's, or, it's a unisex shoe. It's okay. not. No, no, no. See, it's still associated with females. No, no, no unisex is both. Like, you both yeah, both wear. Wear. Yeah. Yeah, you both wear. Like, yeah, uptown. Like, yeah. so, ba okay. so basically, you're trying to say that it was one point where a rumper and, and was in style I, I, and it was it was something that was acceptable. I don't know if it was in style, 
But like, if I if I could recall back like in the in the early did you 80s, have one? No, you should they win? I did. You ain't accepted it. Did, right? did they call it a rumble back in the days when y'all was out there? I didn't hear about rumble till 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 two thousand and nine when the girls started wearing. It. That's that was the yeah. that's the right, official but name. The yeah. style, but back in the days, you saw girls wearing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. That's what I'm trying to say. The They're trying to re-spin it yeah. as if it's something new. You it's know something a new it? trend. It's not new. All right. So the picture with this little Uzi dude with his shoulders out in the Purse, right. or your man Young Thug right. with a Chanel purse. Now, talk about let me a tell purse. you something. That's a purse because I'm watching the Breakfast Club. Envy said he bought his wife one, mm-hmm. and Angela Lee he said she bought herself one. It's an LED bag, yeah, right, for women. I think he my said, thing is, yeah. he said it's a purse, a man purse. Get the fuck I said, well, then you was a bitch, a, a, a Mitch, a man bitch. They, they really, it, they really but your I dress is kind of fruity. I kid. just think they take it too far with the whole. Mm-hmm. I think they're doing it for the kicks. I, no, it's a gimmick. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah they're selling it. They selling it. They trying to. They, I think they trying to capitalize on, on, on uh, that whole metrosexual. Yeah, a possible metrosexual. No, but I, you, you getting people. You know what's going on? You actually dress like that, or going to stop paying attention to you? Oh, he's one of us, even though you may not be. I think he is. You know what's going to happen? So. Somebody's going to end up getting caught having sex with another man. Going to be like, ah, oh, leave him alone. He's been gay. He's been wearing stuff. That's he's acceptable. Learning. That's what's going to happen. Don't be. Your name shouldn't be Young Thug, and you dress like a female. Yeah. Homo, dog. See, homo. Oh, but what if he is like the biggest thug on his block and he just likes penis? No, no, no. Okay. You bigger you thug than you, you thought. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the whole room was like, no, Sonny, it doesn't work that way. You, know, you can't. I'm sorry. Yeah, nah. Y'all be naked. People trying to pump that um, um, homo thug room. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. You're gay. Because if you yeah. slap no, no, they're going to no go, ah! I'm not. I'm not. I'm not here to... Like you know, bash, race, yeah. you know, bash any gender yeah. you love who you want to love. You know what I'm saying? It's just that. I don't know. I don't know. It's just that. It, you know, I'm a Christian. Mm-hmm. I feel. <laughs> you know and I'm a, I'm a Brennan, 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 Brennan Firestone Christian. So, mm-hmm. with that said, just to get to know them. You know where I stand. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to each his own. That's yeah, what I stand yeah. with. Like, I you know that. It's shit. You better be able to take a joke when you can take some dick. Yeah, that's, that's all right. I said. That's what Tracy Morgan said. That's, that's why I'm one of the shit. funniest motherfuckers on the planet. Let me say that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was a joke. It was a joke. You better take the yeah, other. But you know what's yeah. crazy about the Romans though? Only thing, like, they trying to associate it with black men a lot. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Right. And that's what I don't like. Everything is you always know, associated you know, with black men. Especially through social media. So it is, like he said, it is a ploy. You know what I'm saying? Because, wow, come on, man. You And then... They, they, like you said, they feed it, they feed it, they feed it, they feed it. You know what they're trying to do? They're trying to make it acceptable so there's someone everybody can be right. right. <laughs> I'm good. Right. Running around with right. because, yeah, they, I'm good. I'm there right. are people I'm, who see things as trends, and, and even if it's a negative trend, meaning like in the rumpus case, where people are laughing at it, and they'll wear it on the strength that, oh, I'm going to wear it because people yeah. don't like it. You know? And then that's still, you're, you're, you're doing what they want you to do. And then when they but call you, you open yourself weird, up to, um, you get mad. You open yourself up to criticism, and too. Yeah. Bullying. Yeah. No. People like negative. I didn't know how big yeah. internet bullying was. Nah, you know what? Time out. I, I hear about that shit. No, nah, but Trevor, you gotta you think got, about it. No, it's not. I'm the same way because you know you, Billy's you back in the day. You had to just fight, and it was. I like, understand I that you can't. Then you you soft if you can't take some words. Get them shits right back. But that's not. I don't you, think. That's I don't true. think. But I don't think. See, like what what is they te- what are they telling you where you? All right, it's unfortunate that 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 little kid killed himself over bullying. Exactly. Okay, cool. But, but what, what, what is a person know? telling you that's so harsh if to you be can't like? Tell back, or just say your mother. Okay. Or cut the computer off. All right, so that's it's deeper than that. Now, but, the, <laughs> cut the but, this, off. but this is it now, because things that you, know, you could tell somebody, oh, your mother's fat, this, that, and the third, they laugh about it two days later, but now they can record it and keep playing that shit in your face. Okay, then this bitch is still gonna be fat. If she's fat, so, she's fat. All right, so let me let me chime in now. All right, so this is where it gets deeper than just yeah, yeah. To, to, to piggyback off of what you yeah. said about how they could keep playing it. Now, imagine somebody says your mother's fat, whatever, whatever. Now the person that's recorded it, the whole school is ridiculing you because of it. Not and everybody. bigger it's piece, wait, let me finish. Now they're going to make me and, Right, yeah. and you already have an issue with it. You already have a low self-esteem. There's something going on with you that bothers you about that particular issue. Okay. Now, you uh, see, you, said, you, said, you, said, you said a key word. You said right. low self-esteem. Right. So, now, that shit started at home. Yeah, yeah. That because I teach my son, <laughs> listen, 
Yeah. You, you got you, you all that self esteem right. shit comes from from the home. It, it does. Because whatever you take, you give them at home, they take out into the world. Right. Right. I was told by my brother, mm-hmm. niggas don't respect nothing but violence. True. In this culture and where we from. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, this is what you do. In this scenario. Okay. Okay, my mom's is fat. You want to record it and say my mom's is fat. Beat the shit out of the person that's running his mouth in front of everybody mm-hmm. that's it. laughing. No, 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 no. That's what I'm going to tell them. We can't. You can't. You can't. You can't because check this out. You tell your child that, right? And then shorty, you look at look at the mindset of our kids right now. Shorty got the ratchet. Oh, mm-hmm. like, okay. You know what I'm saying? So you can't. You got to program them different. Like, you got to. You got to. Like, like tell you them said. Tell them back. Like you said, it starts in the home. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of these kids' homes is broken. Right. A lot, shorty, shorty, shorty that he argued might not be as lucky as you. Mm-hmm. And shorty might have a chip on his shoulder. So we can't, like, what I was told when I come, when you come up, you know what I'm saying? When somebody put their hands on you, you put their hands on the back. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's when it, that's when it goes to that. But if a person's just talking, you gotta like, I, like when I was coming up, I was good at snapping. Oh, is that yeah. sticks and stones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, great at snapping myself. Too, shit, you right? So, so we got, that's man. that's how we gotta. You know what I'm saying? First, you got like you said. First and foremost, is the self esteem because if you love yourself, you ain't gonna lie yourself to get bullied. Right. And now I can't even say that because people love themselves, but they're just not of the same make as of people. Mm-hmm. But if they got somebody to talk to, they could get around that. But if they feel like they ain't got nobody to talk to, you know, it's just sad what Shorty did to himself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's sad that the school didn't pick up on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And because when they telling them about they getting bullied, they the schools is looking at it like how we look at it. You getting bullied, but I don't see no bruises in them. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. a bully, that's what I know a bully right, is. Yeah. Beating you up, taking you up, taking you stuff. Yeah. Right. The mental aspect of it. Yeah, so now it's a mental bullying, like mm-hmm. you said. Like, and then, then with this dumb ass social media shit, man, this yeah, shit's crazy. Yeah. Shit, wow. You go into the schools and yeah. you talk about, you know, your foundation to prevent bullying and things like that. So what happens when when a kid comes to you and be like, yo, this is how, well has a kid ever come to you and be like, yo, I be getting bullied or this is what's happening to me? What do you tell that kid to be like, yo, this how you gotta deal with that? Well, um, per se, kids have come to me and tell me they've been bullied, and I tell them like, yo, you gotta find somebody that you can talk to that could step into that situation and rectify. It. You know what I'm saying? You gotta feel confident enough to go find somebody because a lot of these kids they getting bullied, right? Mm-hmm. So. When you get bullied, that that's that automatically make you scared of that person. So for you to go tell somebody is like a step, because now you're thinking about the retribution coming from the person that, that's bullying you. Mm-hmm. So you got to get them enough to, to, to feel like like yo, if I'm getting bullied, you're not a sucker to come tell somebody you got bullied. I tell them when I was growing up, I was nice with my hands, but I took losses. Right. You understand know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. don't be afraid. You know what I'm saying? So when they can get around there and find where they can find a comfort zone for somebody to talk to, you know what I'm saying? Sure, they ain't had nobody to talk to. I don't think. You know you're talking saying? about the kid that, yeah, that, that recently yeah, passed, that yeah, killed himself. Because if Shorty would have if Shorty would have came home and told his moms that people bullying him, you know, so she probably would have told him, somebody put your hands on you, you know, put your hands on the back. Don't be letting nobody don't be letting them kids in school bully you. Yeah. You know That's what I'm saying? Right. Well, you know, you're right, because it is a difference bullying now. So yeah. I'ma have to really instead of telling my son, I'm gonna have to add that mm-hmm. to whooping ass after you tell him like, how are they bullying you? Yeah. yeah. What are they doing? Yeah. And it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a type of I'm mental like, training we got. Automatically, train it's like go, beat go. the shit out the first person you see, and let them take that. Nah, this is. Mm-hmm. I never right. told my this mother. I, was a, I don't think I was getting bullied like that because if somebody said something to me, I just said it back. Or I just, I'll say your mother. My mother had to come to the school every time I got into a fight, but. I mean, but I was nice with with snapping on people. Me too. I was. I was so nice. I'll get them mad enough that they want to fight. You know. Yeah. I keep going. So I I had a hundred mother jokes. But it was different. It was different then. I mean, even though you're older than 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 we are, some of that still applied. Like Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it was it was fists instead of guns, Mm -hmm. and it was words versus words. All right. My mother, your mother, your mother fat. Well, your mother fat it is this and that. Yeah, you know, won't. you got to come out. You got to rank. You got to know how to do it. Yeah, I'm talking about your baby sister. Right, your father. Right. Well, nobody your cared father. about their father. No, right. Right. But you know, it was just <laughs> different, and you're right. You ain't got no daddy, but they good. Yeah, 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 that's crazy. You, no, you shot that payless. Right, right, right. Right. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, you're right. So I'm, I'm, I gotta take heed to that and definitely ask my son. Yeah, like, these know. kids are here, wow, son. Yeah, they good. Not only are they wild, they like mentally like 
Yo, I was reading the, the Willie Lynch letter, and I, I ain't finished it. And I, you know what I'm saying? I had to muster up the courage to finish reading this shit because it's crazy. I man. read a little bit I, of it too. I it's it. crazy. I, I got to the the marriage part, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I had to, you know, like chill because it really had me flaming, mad. But then I think about the state of our people. Yo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it's just still it's a part, There's a part there where they said they make the, they, they they take the bucks and they make make them with the bucks. But I'm gonna just tell you this, right? So what they do is how they break the woman. Mm -hmm. They they take the man. the man is strong. Mm -hmm. Take his legs, his hands, time the two two horses. Buck the horses. The horses tear the man apart, right? Mm -hmm. So now what that do to that woman? Now what the man on the, the person they tear apart on the horse is the strong man to her. In her eyes, this is her king. This mm -hmm. is her strong man. So now with the crack, I'm excuse my man with the crack. Well, you know what the what the white man did was take and destroy her image of a strong man. So mm -hmm. now when she raised her kids, she's raising her mentally strong. I mean, meant physically strong, but mentally weak. Right. You know what I'm saying? So now, it also said that they made it dummies with dummies. And then when you do the research, mm -hmm. yeah, the average black person's IQ is 75. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Then you think even me, I'm a, I'm an asshole. I seen 60 people go to jail before me. Mm -hmm. Right for the same shit, <laughs> and I went and did it. So you ask yourself, what's the definition of insanity? Right, repeating the same exact thing over and over. For a whole race, though. Yeah. We got 42 million American black people, right? We take up half. We take up half percent of the jails. Kids from 13 to 24 cover 13 percent of the most of violent crimes. You know what I'm saying? Well, we can we gonna we can keep talking. Man. We ain't gotta get too deep yet. No, but that we we gonna we gotta we gonna and this gotta be a part two then then listen it's real though it's real though and that's you know I love the fact that you dove in so quick even though it was off like our little mini topic but but this is the reason why we sit here and talk like this because we would sit and talk like the even our best conversation is probably off camera because it gets so deep with us talking like this you know what I'm saying and it needs to be said so it's fine if you don't you can say cracker no disrespect to crackers. I have some crackers on this. Ritz Monsters. Right. Yeah. Unsalted. Biscuits. Unsalted. Biscuits are pretty good. Though. Right. Oh, speaking of madness. Um, I call you Second Street. Oh, yeah. This is crazy because I was over there doing a the delivery, but I, I was I was uh, over there earlier. Oh, God my girl, right. my girl gave me, she texted me. She's like, you okay? I'm like, yeah, why wouldn't I? She said it was an accident at 42nd Street. I'm thinking a car accident. Mm -hmm. And I'm hearing about it. I'm like, it was an accident. Until I fucking seen that shit. Yeah. You seen that shit? Yeah. My God. Let me tell you, that, that yeah. shit was heinous. And I'm a, and I'm a fuck, I got thick skin. Thank God. Yeah, but did you see how they, he was nah. plowing he, through he people? But you know what they, they, took, shit was fucking they took his ass to Bellevue. And I had to go to Bellevue to go pick up my check. So I'm like, why the fuck is all these cops here? Not realizing that's the closest, end, that's the closest house yeah. to 42nd. Then at Bellevue, the nigga had the nerve to fight a cop. <laughs> Yo, he yeah. trying to get killed. He wanted to die. What was wrong with him? He was, 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 was on K2. K2. And he thought, uh, his his words were he thought they were going to kill him for doing it. He, he should have did it in the Bronx. Yo, K2? Oh, Brooklyn. Yeah. yeah. Now, you know what's crazy? Because K2 serious. K2 is serious, but like, was it a week ago that they was trying to pass it, but they had just mm -hmm. wrote a bill to, to get K2 to like, you uh, a felony conviction off of K2. Mm -hmm. And wow. any store owners that, that have K2 selling it, you get a fine, you get like crazy amount of years, Yo, and all he, that. He, I just smoke they weed. Definitely gonna, they definitely gonna I pass that law now. I was upstate when I heard about K2. They, they just called it, Yo, the, the, the weed you can smoke. Crazy. Yeah. It, this is, it's heard. the weed you can smoke that's not gonna make your urine dirty. So, naturally, my, my light bulb went off like, really? Because they don't come out of your pee. Nah, that's the, this is how they. That's, that's how it started. They just started. turn your brain into bubbles. And, yeah. and I was, I was actually thinking about like, yeah, okay, how would I have a dirty urine? I said, so my man smoked it. Mm. And this nigga was a solid dude. He was a cool motherfucker. Notice until he was. smoked that shit. That yeah. nigga, that night, that yes. nigga was pop locking in the shower, <laughs> doing a worm. He had caked up soap on his chest. This is after lights out too. He's bugging the fuck out. Yeah. I'm trying to save him. Let's go to bed. I told I told the officer the officer was cool I'm like yo, listen he just tripping because he seen him wild he's like yo go to bed I'm like yo he just you know he just he's stressed right now just you know give him some so he started walk he started walking around the house the butt naked yeah, talking about I'm gonna kill y'all if y'all don't kill me 
I'm like, damn, this nigga. Now, you know what's One crazy? blunt. No, that's crazy. I was working in an um, inpatient program. I said, God damn. And Never. one of the clients Never. was... Never. It wasn't enough, like you said, it's not it's not enough guards to each. Yeah. I was oh. considered a guard, right? Ooh. So I'm downstairs in the office on the first floor. You got the second, third, and fourth floor, all clients. Why he wanna smoke K2? Start bugging. He came down, thought he was on fire, ran in the <laughs> office. <laughs> I was like, wow. Like, this shit Did you bad. try to help him put it out? What no. You, can, you you can't, like, there's rules you got to do. You can't touch him. Like, and he started, it was a halluc- I was like, nah, I'm out of here. Nah, I, I can't do it. What's in that shit? This is the thing. No, no, no it, it, it got to be something else. Listen, yeah. this is what happened. This is what happened. Boom. Because I, 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 I was doing a study after this. Because I didn't fuck my man. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? Right. It's, it's potpourri, right? right? But it's the stuff they spray on it. Now, it's a chemical because they're trying to duplicate the THC that gets you high. True. Now, they've been finding ways to get that kind of effect, but this is what happened. Law's been catching on, so they like, they taking, oh, you can't do that substance in it or it's illegal. So they take they take that out and they alternate with something else. Now the shit is just fucking cuckoo, cuckoo butt, my nigga. Yeah, Cause you, you smoke some shit that's fucking you up, my nigga. Mm. All that like synthetic shit, substances. just go. Just go get the real shit, man. Yo, that was dirty urine. Yo, no, 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 if you, yo, if your you life, <laughs> if your life is surrounded by shit that allows you that you can't smoke weed, <laughs> don't smoke weed. No, it's not even about it. weed. Like people have an addictive personality, personality. right? Yeah. And if they can't get crack, I, I work with when I, where I worked at. They was smoking crack. Mm. Dusted like alcohol, they was really it don't going there, right, and they was filing when they heard that. Yeah. They would bring they and you could buy it from the store. It wasn't like yeah. you got to go to your man. You got and no. you know what? This, yeah, but I can't even say it's the new way of case because you got these old. You got yeah, old people smoking it's the old too. Old you know, come in, come over jail. They trying to beat the system. The, the, yeah. the dude, it was so bad in one jail. The sergeant said, "Listen." He went to every house and said, "Listen, stop smoking that shit." Smoke regular weed. Right? <laughs> the sergeant told shit. niggas like, "Yo, just smoke regular <laughs> shit." Too many niggas end up at the infirmary. We see niggas just out there just passing out like, "Oh shit!" They yeah. didn't pay that nigga the shenanigans. Niggas is on the shenanigans. Lose their fucking mind. Jail and lose your mind. Nah, but you, like, I know. Yeah. One, like I met a lot of people with my in the inpatient. One dude would say he made a lot of money off it. Like, yeah, you made no. a lot. You can make money off it. You make a lot. Yeah, he you made some money. money off it. Yeah, I mean. I, I, but so all, you know, all money ain't good money, right. man. Like, you pay for shit. Like, they real, but they don't realize that you make all the money in the world, but you going, you paying for it some type of way, sir, in okay. the streets. Like, mm. and they don't even understand it. Like, you you getting the bread, but you, some something in your circumference is fucked and up. What, but what do you, that? when do you say enough is enough? Like, if you getting, like, all right, you was out in the street. How much was you making on a, on a weekly basis? Like, give us like an estimate. Before I got locked up. No, yeah. Um, cool. well, we was doing an eighth a day. Before I got locked up, we was doing an eighth a day. So that was like five, six thousand a day. A day, yeah. Okay, five, six thousand a day, seven days a week. That's thirty-five thousand a week. But that don't it don't it don't equal up. To no, that. we just gonna say we just gonna say that's a number thirty-five thousand a week. So you you doing week? that? Yeah. Oh, that, I thought you said 3500 Yeah, 30, yeah but 35000 a week, yeah. you know, if you're saying five, six thousand, 6000 Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely, definitely. All right, boom. When did you be like, all right, enough is enough? Because after you're saying now, if you look back and be like, damn, all the shit I done bought, all the money I just gave away, you know, just tricking or whatever, partying, getting fly, because we all from together. Mm-hmm. So we know a lot of times... Poverty stricken. First of all, you start. A lot of people start young. Right. You know, yeah, that hustle mentality comes from mm-hmm. when you first start packing bags. But it's that one motherfucker on the block that be like, "Yo, fam, this can get you this, yeah. okay?" And I know you're tired of looking like this. So when do you be like, "Enough is enough." I mean, you know, everybody got their different. Everybody got their rock bottom. You know what I'm saying? Some, some, some. Uh, a dude might go to jail one time and be like, yo, after that, I can't do that shit no more. Mm-hmm. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, personally, like, you know what I'm saying? My cousin. Yeah, I might, you know what I'm saying? I talk about the scumbag. His name is Puck. Yeah, I might know him. He took some money from me. Now, I, now hold on. Just, just a rundown of my life is, you know, 
12, I start selling crack. 13, I see my man murdered. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in the streets already. So now I'm going through it. So I'm adjusting to all of the shit that's supposed to happen because now I'm, I'm in my psychological mind, I'm married to the streets. So everything that's supposed, everything that, that come on the street, mm. it's what it's supposed to be. So like I said, everybody got to have right with they rock bottom. My rock bottom was, I'm, I, you know, I'm a gangster. Like, I've done everything in the streets, this, shots, that. Whatever I had to do, I had to do. Right. So when I got to a point where I had to be, excuse my part, my friend, mm -hmm. back for my life like a bitch, I knew that was my rock bottom. I said, oh, I can't do this shit no more. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can't do this shit no more. Because, and then with these kids, it ain't no rock bottom for them because they condition for jail or death. Yeah. So when you condition yourself for jail or death, fuck it. This is what it is, you know what I'm saying? This is everybody. He going to jail, you going to jail, she going to jail. Everybody mm -hmm. around me going to jail. Everybody around me getting shot. So this is just the way of life. So fuck it, we in it. What I got to lose. So, all right. Before you got into to, to drugs, what what was your your thoughts and like? What did you want to be? Oh, I was an asshole. I was an <clears> asshole. <throat> I was straight stupid. My mom did good, son. I had whatever was out. I had it all, son. You know what I'm saying? Mm. My shit was. I'm, I, I'm, I was just stupid, son. I didn't have to do none of this shit. No, but like, what, like, growing up, like, what did you, like, I, oh, I wanted to play ball. I was nice okay. with my hands. I wanted to play football. I was nice with my hands. You know what I'm saying? I used, to, I used to like to dress. I could have been a fat. I could have been in fashion. I could have boxed. I could have definitely been in football. Definitely. Definitely been in the NFL. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But caught up in that bullshit. And, we gonna, and before, as we keep going on, you know what I'm saying? I'll tell y'all about this shit called the culture honor that, you know what I'm saying, that exists in our inner cities. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's the reason why we are the way we are. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's definitely a way. Because mm -hmm. I, I see it, like, I be, talk, I be talking to him because, you know, I, I feel like I've changed a lot since, since my last time I've been inside. You know what I'm saying? Because I actually did the work on myself in there instead of just doing the time. And yeah. coming out with the same mentality, I actually sat there and just worked on myself the whole time mm -hmm. because I lost a lot in my last bed. So, and I came home and, I, and I'm looking at my the, the younger dudes and they looking at me, oh poor guy. and I'm looking at them like oh damn y'all feel like I failed y'all. I feel like I failed y'all. Like Yo, and and that's how you know and that's a lot. Cause y'all hyped that I just came out of jail. I was supposed to go to jail in the period. first place. And then they trying to outdo you. Exactly. They trying to do the same shit you. But did, better. But mm -hmm. better. And in all reality, they're doing it worse. Yes. I told y'all. I told y'all. Me and him. Yeah. 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 We yeah. Said, like I told y'all. We, we failed from it. You, you, you hit it 100%. And it's, and it's playing out now because when, as I go into the schools, the kids love us and respect us because mm -hmm. they see. You know what I'm saying? They don't see a square coming in there. They don't see a dude that's not of them mm -hmm. and talking some other shit like, yo, just stop selling drugs and go right. get a job. Yeah. Nah, it ain't that easy. You gotta instill in them the fucking life skills to want to accept the job the first. Foundation of why you know they supposed to be working. You are, yeah, you tell them stop selling why. crap, nigga. You can't tell this man stop selling crap. Right. His mom's fucked up. His pops ain't mm -hmm. in his life. He don't know how to read really, and the only right. way he know how to feed his little brother is by through these packs. Right. So I can't tell Shorty stop hustling. What I can tell Shorty is, yo, Shorty, you got a thing in your life and your, in your system called critical thinking, mm -hmm. conflict resolution, and you should pick your self esteem up. Mm -hmm. You know, I could tell him that, and he could realize, analyze that. And then look and say, oh shit, hold up. Self-esteem? What do you mean my self-esteem? What is critical thinking? Right. What is a conflict what resolution? What does that mean? What do it mean? Stop These little niggas don't know what that means. Yeah, I ain't you know, know what it means. That's why I'm in this wheelchair. I'll now, tell you about that. How long How long did you do in jail? I did four years and ten months. I was yeah. And you was in federal prison? Mm -hmm. Which which one? Because I, I I know oh. which one, but for, for yeah, you, I don't know. Yeah. Um, Massachusetts. I was in Kentucky, Ohio. I was in Kentucky. The I came home from Kentucky. I was in Massachusetts and I was in Ohio. Still roof your ass. Now, from what I understand, you got shot. Mm -hmm. You was out in Maryland. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming you were selling dope. Because mm -hmm. most of the time, once you get in Maryland, that's when the that's when it's you, you see them niggas. Them niggas was like it, zombies well, out there. Okay, what part of Maryland, Maryland was you in? I was in Baltimore. Cause I know, uh, no, cause I know yeah, you have to go right. down 95 to Man. get to, 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 to once you start your run, if you're not hitting Maryland, DC, Virginia, yeah, that's when. That shit is crazy. The Baltimore, y'all. I, 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 I know. I went out there. I, I not, but not, um, for no, not for no other shit, but I went out there. I just looked around like. I had a, I had a family member that got caught up in Jessup. Yeah, 
problems. Yo, so listen, man. That shit is unreal. You see the wire? That shit is no, no. I've I've been I've been to, I've been to um Baltimore. Me too. Yeah. I've been there. Dude, I know, I left immediately. I went. I went, I went to some college right tours. I went. I went. Um, I went to the black the, the wax museum because my mom she, yeah. she watches this, so I got to say that. I went up. there <laughs> in Baltimore. My it was in Maryland. I know it's not in Philly. You're right. You know. Um, but I, I just you know. So when you say Maryland, I know. Assume that's when you. Yeah, that's, that's when the money. Some people be like, oh, the money's there. Yeah, the money's there. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So, okay, you in Maryland? You're walking. Yeah. You get shot. But yeah. well, no, how long was you in Maryland before the the, the, the BS happened? Eight, 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 what was your plan like the day you got shot? What was your plan like that evening? Like you had any plan like yeah, I'm going out yeah. to the club? I'm going, you know, my girl. What, well, actually, what was you thinking? Actually, it was Father's Day. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, um, and it's crazy because my man, my man, love is on the run, so we was waiting for um, you know, smoke some weed, drink some champagne with my man Duke. My man Duke got wild baby, so um, the dude was dead. You know what I'm saying? I kept seeing him there. I kept seeing that we kept having words. So one day, me and my man Love was in the front. I said, you know what? We're just going to clear him out. So that he had some little kids hustling in the back for him. So we get to you know, go to the back. But when we go to the back, the kids run. Right? So now I'm tight. I'm like, little faggots. Excuse my language. You know? So now I'm tight. So now we go back to the thing. I put the gun in the bushes and I light a blunt. That's so what we smoke. And now I see, I see the dude coming. Him and his man. Mm. So now I'm like, yo, there they go right there, son. So I hop off the, the fence. But by the time I hop off the fence, they get closer. So I don't I don't have time to go get the gun. So now I'm tight and I know I'm nice with my hands. So I approach him and he comes to us, gets just put it knock him out, and his man just starts shooting. Bop, 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 bop. And I hear the shots. So when I run, I hear I feel like, you know, you play with the um and the um some things, the outlets in the crib, you yeah. just hit the fork, yeah, right. you feel that electricity. Yeah. So that's what I felt. And I just hit the floor, boom. And I, I hear the footsteps, I hear my man sound, your goat, your goat. And you know, I hear the dude still clicking the gun, but there ain't no more bullets in it. So now I'm like, damn. And I just was just, you know, I, I thought to my grandmoms first, then I thought to my moms. I was like, look, and trying to look up, I couldn't see. So I asked a girl to take my hat off. She took the hat and my chain off. So I look up and I'm just like, yo, just let me get to my moms and my grandma. So then I hear the helicopters coming. And once the helicopters come, they put me in the ambulance. They like, can you feel this? I'm like, feel what? And they tickling my feet. Like, I can't feel that. But then they like, yo, they knew what I was already because I had shitted on myself. You know, mm -hmm. and when you shit on you, they knew what time was. Like, oh, now nah, he's paralyzed now because, you know, he defecated on himself. He's not dead. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because, so he paralyzed right now. So I'm like, oh, shit. So I get to the hospital. I couldn't feel my hand. I was fucked up. My hands, everything. Like, I was a real quad. You know, I got healthy. My mom's and them came down to um, Baltimore. You know, I'm a spoiled child, so she took off. Grandma's there. Um, I stayed in Baltimore like 10 days, and they shipped me to Mount Sinai. And through the 10 days, I'm like, yo, I can't do shit. I'm thinking, you know, your mind playing with you now, because you right. think you can just get up and go. Mm -hmm. You think you just put your kicks on. So I'm like, damn, I got a little shit like, yo, I lost my keys. I got to go get my keys, but I'm laying in the bed. I can't go get my keys. So I'm like, damn. So I, I was suicide. When I got to Mount Sinai, I was suicide watch. You know what I'm saying? They had a, um, a, a nursing aide with me for 24 hours every day until my doctor told me I could most disrespect so I could get some pussy. So he said, yo, you can still fuck. That's a, that's a great motivator. That's a man's great motivator. <laughs> we going to therapy every day. I ain't got no hands. You see how you know this one is kind of weak still, but my hands got strong. And, you know, I got I got back. You know what I'm saying? Was well, you still hustling? Like once nah, you once nah, you nah, nah. when I got shot in the hospital, nah, I was not hustling. Nah, not in the hospital. You know what I'm saying? When I got back to the free world, yeah, I, I mean, out. like when you when you got when you got out. Okay, when, when, when I got out the hospital, I, had it. I went right back to it. You know I got a question for you. You touched on it already a little bit. All right, so you mentioned going through suicide and all of that, right? That 
So do you did you still struggle with like depression or even PTSD, like going like like years or months after the incident happened? Yeah, I was shell shocked off and bullet through the yeah. gunshots. Yeah, and how did you, how did you deal with it? Did you stay in counseling? Did you did you talk nah, to somebody? Nah, yeah. After a time, just okay, you know what comes around, you just become used to it. You know, your body start mm -hmm. coming back. You just become used to it because I was, you know, I used to hear gunshots and get scared as yeah. a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, spook, like heart racing. And then it just, you know, eventually the time you don't start, you don't hear them as much. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it just starts to fizzle down. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But that shit used to spook me, bro. I asked that because I, I noticed like May, May 5th was like Mental Health Awareness Day. And I know a lot of times in our community, mental health is like taboo. So people go through depression. Especially for black men. Um, we go through trauma. For black you know, men. we go through incidents that happen like yourself, you know, where it's re very traumatic, whether it be that or just over time in life, things that build up. We don't want to talk about it. We don't want to say, I'm suffering, I'm hurting, I'm depressed, this is bothering me. So I kind of wanted to know, like, how you dealt with it. Or do you still have days where you kind of like, damn, you know, when you go through it? And if you do have those days, what do you do to kind of bring yourself back up? Hell yeah, every day. My bike coming here today, my damn. I forgot to close the, the, the stout on my leg back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I pissed. And this shit all in my car, I'm smelling that. I'm like, oh, I forgot the other chicken. And this shit just pisses me off. Like, yeah. they, like if I was in the street and I had to do this, I'd just go right home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because shit like that is insecure. Like, I'm mean, very insecure about that, man. Like, that shit just stresses me out. But, like, my wife be telling me and my mom's be telling me, man, you still alive. What right. you stressed yeah. about? You know right. what I'm saying? And then, not only are you still alive, you're doing better than a lot of people out here. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most definitely. Right. Yeah. And that's, that's the biggest blessing yeah. out of everything. And, and that, I think, I'm glad you said that. Because most people would, would take a situation or even look at your situation and because of their mindset and how they live and how they live in negativity, you would be like, oh, I couldn't even survive like that, whatever. And I, I look at a person like you and I, I look at perseverance. I look at a person who's a survivor. I look at a person who knows what it means like to get through shit and wake up every day and still look yeah. at the sky and be like, yo, thank you. But I'm awake because... Cause it's so many days because of your situation where it's the opposite feeling. Okay. So I wanted you to speak about, you know, the days like like you. I'm glad you shared that story. The days where you know where you like fuck, man. You know, I gotta oh my phone. You gotta go through this bullshit because yeah. it's, it's real. You know, it's days where things are gonna pop up to remind you of the bullshit that happened that put you where you are. But you still kind of gotta push through it because oh, yeah. it's so many people depending on you, and everything happened for a reason. You know what I'm saying? You're here to give a message to people for a reason. Your situation happened maybe so you can save a million kids. And I didn't know that since 20 years later, no. Right. Like six, like, I don't Thank know, you. 22 years, like four years, that's 18 years or what? I ain't picked that shit. Right. So, you know what's so crazy? I, like, I, I could relate to you in so many ways, but you don't have, like, survivor's guilt sometimes. Survivor's guilt? Like, like, you know, like, for me, for instance, I'm keeping it on me. Um... Like, I came, I, I caught it, I caught a case. It was, it was kind of serious, but you know, I, I copped and bop. I'm not playing with these people because they will, they will roof you. Mm -hmm. And, and I heard about, like, when I was in there, I heard about somebody that didn't do what I did, and he went to trial. He blew. He's doing like 28 right now. You ain't no idiot. With an L. Like a lot but, of dudes, that's just a bitch. Yeah, I'm sorry. But, but you know, I, I went home. When I came home, I seen his father, and I'm like, damn, I, I felt bad. Like, damn, like. It was like I, I got I got out, but he didn't. Even though we didn't have a case, it was nothing like us. It was similar, but I feel like damn, like if his son would have did what I did, he'd have been home too. So I feel like damn, it's like survivors get almost. Oh, I, that I'm actually out of my situation, but I'm sitting back watching everybody still go through it. Man, I never I never felt that. You know what I'm saying? I never felt that. Like um, because truth be told, like, I, I I I wasn't frequent inside the prison. Not inside the prison. Like, I'm talking about being. I'm talking about life. Period. Period. Like oh man, yeah. you you are still alive. But I'm pretty sure you know people that's not. Oh hell yeah 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 hell yeah. Like, and a lot of good people probably like yeah. it was a good dude that you know. My man was my my man who I first seen get killed. Man, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that because you know what I'm saying. At this time, I was living in Rockaway, and for Rockaway it was crazy, right? So, um. We beefing with some dudes from Edgeman, and we see them come through the projects, and we like, we, we dumbfounded, like, like, they look like, just stabbed my man rocking the arm. So we like, hold up, what the fuck? So they walk through, so now our mind is to go get the gun. So we go get the gun, and then, but prior from that night, we was just arguing with Dorian, like, yo, Dorian, he had a baby, 
his girl April lived in Edgemont. So he used to be sneaking over there to see April. Mm -hmm. So we like, yo, son, you can't play both sides of the fence. Who side you on? You trying to be cool with these niggas, they just stab rock. So now we barking on them the same night. So now we see these dudes come through. So now we go get the gun. Now Dorian, he got his chest poked out because you know, we bombing him like, yo, you trying to be cool, mm -hmm. fuck that girl. It's this with it, but this is baby mother. Right. You know what I'm saying? He's 16, got a baby already. So now you already see the mindset we in. Yeah. So now he like, yo. So now we go get the gun. We try to cut him off. And he the first one to get hit. Damn. You know what I'm saying? He the first one to get hit. Damn. I hear the bullets ping pinging off the off the rails. Mm -hmm. And I see my man hit the floor. I'm, I'm thinking he getting down, getting low. Then when the bullets start, we get to him. He purple, he snoring. So we like, ah, he good, he's still alive. Mm -hmm. But the nigga was dead. So yeah, I, I feel like that, you know what I'm saying? Specific, and, and only right when you said that, I never even thought about it like that because I never been like, you know what I'm saying, damn. But I felt the guilt that all me and my friends felt for talking to him like that that night and putting, you know what I'm saying, putting that air in his chest. Because mm -hmm. if we ain't speak to him like that night, he probably wouldn't have ran out there like that. Mm -hmm. yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, and that was my first instance of gun violence. And, and that shit still, Dorian losing Dorian still fuck with me. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's a good, yeah. I call it, I call it yeah. survivor's guilt. Yeah. And that could be this kind of like one of your motivations now to try to. Definitely. That, that, I ain't gonna front. That's me, being out, like I said, like I failed people, it's pushing me harder to, you know, if I fucking do one person at a time, man, that's at least it. show them something different. Cause I showed them all this wrong shit. Now I'm trying to show them something different. But you is, you got the podcast. Yeah, I got the podcast. You know, I stayed out of trouble, which is, Rare. I see two birthdays in a row. Right. This, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. I knew him before. We we grew up together. So, you know what I'm saying? I, the same way you you was yelling at Dory, we would yell at him like that, and he won't listen sometimes. <laughs> so he so he, so he had to go do that fire. Was your rock bottom though? My rock you bottom? Hit it yet? I, I've been hit it, man. I think that no, rock no, bottom no, was his five. No, no, it wasn't even the five because I could have did the five on my fucking head. But you know what I always said? I'm like, yo, listen, I could do, I could. Dudes ask me to say, yo, Poop, you taking all that fucking time? I said, I don't care because as long as I got my moms, I'm good. I was in, I was in upstate two weeks, I lost my moms for that. But all that oh, time, with all that time on my back, that, sh that fixed me. That fixed my fucking bike right there. I'm like this. I had to lay there. I didn't go to the funeral or nothing. I just laid there and thought about everything like, yo, I got to be this. I got to be this guy that I ain't get a chance to show it. I could be, you know what I'm saying? Damn, sure. So two I, weeks into a five year bid? Two weeks into a five year bid, my mother passed away. And that shit, that's you what got I survivors, you, you feel survivors and loss from that? Well, I don't, I'm, I'm still feeling that shit. I'm gonna be totally honest because I never really got a chance to grieve. You know, you can't, you can't show weakness up there. So, like, ah, I, I kept my safe, I kept my face in books. I was meditating, I was writing. I was teaching classes on anger and shit like that, knowing I had the worst fucking anger ever. <laughs> you just trying, yeah. I, I yeah, I, I, I really, I really worked on myself though. I had, to, I had to, cause, man, that was my bottom. That was my bottom, I, and I'm like, yo. But I tell everybody, like, once, one thing about hitting that bottom, the only direction to go after that is up. Oh, that's what I was about to wow. say. It saved you. Even yeah, it did. It was the worst time of your life. It, it saved you. Cause look how it turns you now. Right. I don't are even you, know the man you described yourself as. I don't, don't know want him. To. I'm glad I know. <laughs> yeah. Are you a father? Nah, nah, son. Working man, baby girl, working on that now. Mm. Oh, okay. So how you like when Father's Day come around, knowing this is Sorry. knowing that's your. I don't like to use the word anniversary for shit that's like that because that's it should just so. It's not something to celebrate. Yeah, yeah it's nothing. Yeah. You know, but well, how you feel? Because in a sense, it is something to celebrate because I could have lost my life that day. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Yeah. Okay, it's yeah. so you yeah. say that's your second birthday. Yeah, right? yeah. Second birthday. yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, that's dope. I like how you put that. Yeah. I never heard. Of I that just way. really, I, cause I sat down and I thought about like, why the fuck was somebody say anniversary? Or the death of this person, or, you know? And I'm like, mm -hmm. don't make it don't make no sense to me. But you're right. Um. So you you up you locked up. Let's say you just go a little what? Let, you gonna fast forward a little bit. Mm -hmm. You get locked up. Where was you at when you got locked up? Was you here or you at? Uh, I Maryland? was in my crib. I wasn't no. I was in my crib. The dudes who was my the dudes who was in, under investigation. They was in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I had I, you know he was coming up top the cop and I was selling it to him, and then you know he got wrapped up and you know sent holy straight to my crib. Right. And that was the snap. So to, to beat him, whatever little time he had. And then niggas don't be beating him shit. You know what's crazy is? 
<laughs> you know what's crazy? Is he's an asshole because go to jail, right? Mm-hmm. Do your time. Come home. Mm. And still be that same person. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So what he did was he 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 fucked himself up because you told you still went to jail. Mm-hmm. And not only did you go to jail, now you can't come and you can't be respect. You can't even go in the hood. You know what son doing right now? Driving trucks. He wow. better. Can't come and not not you know, and I tell all my people like Lee that I mean he's an agent. He's down with them. So for us to do something to him would be stupidity. Okay. Let that man live. Him. I don't give a fuck. I'm home now. I did the time and my face is good. All everybody where I go I'm respected. So now what he did, he fucked himself up. You know what I'm saying? He did more than me putting a bullet in him. Mm. Hey man, do you be on 8th Avenue? Yeah, I used to Hard be. Hard on, what, 40... Second? Around there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean, so, I, so I walk past you. No, nah, no, nah, you know you were speaking for, you speaking for my man, Jack. Because it was, well, it's, I know it's a dude we that be out. He got, we, we look the same. Oh, okay. Well, I just know, I want to say it like this, but this dude in the wheelchair, I used to walk past, like, when I go, you know, it's when I first got my girl, she live on 8th. So I'm like, all right. Always seen a fresh dude in the wheelchair. So I'm like, all right. Yeah, right. They be fresh though. Yeah, yeah like, they be fresh. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, right. right. Actually, y'all got cars. We got a car wash right there on 142nd. Two minutes. Who niggas? Oh, Sharon. Sharon, Sharon, Sharon. I'm going to show you over there. The oh. lighting chick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, his sister. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> nice one with the green eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right, man. All right, so <laughs> get locked up. How much time you? How much time? Well, I was supposed to do 14 years, but um, Ooh, God bless. God bless the dad. Um, my, my my lawyer Ed Wolford got me the safety valve. So what the safety valve was, a lot of niggas be trying to say it's rad, but them niggas is crazy because all you do in the safety valve is you go tell them yourself. Mm. And I already told them myself because I knew from when they knocked on my door, I was pleading guilty. So for me to plead guilty and just go say yes, I gave this man a crack. He already told you I gave him a crack. He told me, so now I'm going to jail, right? right? So how am I snitching on a nigga that already told me? Now the DA just want to know my part in the crime. Mm-hmm. What did you do, Mr. Nelson? Well, Mr. Well, DA, this is what I did. You got it in the paperwork. I sold him the crack, right? Mm-hmm. So now that was the safety valve. Mm-hmm. But to get the safety valve, you couldn't have him. You know, you couldn't be the the leader of an organization, no gun van, you couldn't get caught with no guns, in, none of that Pretty shit. Pretty much a cop out. Yeah. So Pretty I took it, so the judge gave me the low end of my sentence was 72 months. But while I was in prison, they changed the crack law. So when they changed the crack law, they had to resentence me. So my, my, um, my, 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 I went from a 27 to a 25. By that time I was already in prison, I served the, I served the 20, I served the level 25 times, so they had to let me out. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Damn. So, so while you're in prison, you know you you're doing your time. What made you say, "All right, enough is enough. I gotta do something different with my life by the time when I get out." Shit, being in this, I'm like, that was my first bit. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? That was my first time being away, like outside of Rikers Island. Like, it's just a whole different. You, like, the feds they shipped me. Like, I had to go turn myself in, my man. Tone drove I like I really had to turn myself in. I had to rent the car, uh-huh. drive myself to the jail, get out, get myself in. You know what I'm saying? That's the hardest shit to do. Oh yeah. You know like, where saying? you go? I'm going to jail. Yeah, I'm going right. to jail. January 20th, I wake up. I'm like, yo. We... Every tree matters when you going past on Every the highway. Every matter. You like, oh, I'm trying to man. smell the shit in the air. I didn't know. I never knew because I never. I didn't go to. I never went to jail. Good you know what I mean? Place. I mean, I go through the system. I went to the system a few times. But me being a citizen, I'm like, oh shit, I can't do this. Mm-hmm. So I had to, you know, get get shit in order. So I could just, uh, I just always want to know, like, when you turn yourself in, what is the process? Oh, that was, man. and you, what, you telling me now, literally, you go to jail. You go to the jail, you know. Then I was late. They want you to turn yourself in on time. <laughs> and then, yo, I'm like, yo, yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what's the penalty for being late? Nigga, open the door. Hey, what's the penalty for being late? Let me get ready. That ain't gonna take me. <laughs> I'm right. getting 9:30 at night, nigga. Drunk as fuck. Let me get ready. Send the, the federal warrant on you. I said, what? All right, well, you can save the thing. I'm, I'm on my way. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> All right. So, you know, when I got in that shit, though, yo, yo that shit was crazy. Mm. They put you in a hole for like a, a three day, um. They put you in hold for yeah, like three to seven days to see if you got TB. So they can't put you with the rest yeah, of the population. No. So I'm in a hole, yo. Oh my God, yo. yo that shit, I, yo, God bless his dead Khalif brother. That man was strong. Yeah. Anybody that can do that box time, yo, mm-hmm. is amazing. 
Cause I was in there naming my toothbrush. I was talking to the towel. I was crying. Everybody. I was writing letters like, yo, ma, this is not right. I don't got no TV. I can't wash my ass. None of that. I'm like, yo, you got to get me out of here. But you know what's crazy? Because nobody do shit for me. Nobody. <laughs> nobody could do shit for me. So I'm like, yo, I just got to jet. You know what I did in jail though? I gambled a lot. Yeah. Mm. I gambled a lot. I think gambling is a Harlem thing, though. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this shit not black. I gambled a lot. I ain't gonna lie. You know, fucking took the past that time, man. Mm. Wow. Wow. Where, did, where did you come up with the idea for your organization? I wasn't in jail. No. <laughs> I, was, I was more or less, uh, I was playing stocks. I was playing the stock market in jail. I was the nigga that was getting the um, Wall Street Journal, mm. the Financial Times. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because an Italian dude schooled me. He's like, yo. This is what it is, but he tried to put me on the um, trading, trading on um, pennies and pennies and dollars. Right, right. the penny, the penny stocks. Yeah, mm-hmm. so, yeah start off low, and yeah. then you work your way up to them. Right, so I started. Stocks. I started reading. I got, I got the um, dummies for stocks with dummies. Mm-hmm. Started getting a bunch of stock books sent in. Um, started reading the Wall Street Journal. Found out what the IPO was. And then once I found out what the IPO was, Google had just came out. Mm-hmm. Got ten shares of Google. Um, Came home so loud, and I was in the mind frame of, you know, ec- economics and you're gonna get the money in the stock market. You already see what it is, right? But you know, I'm in the wheelchair, so when I came home, I lost my crib that was wheelchair accessible. Oh. So my wife is in Brooklyn. It's four steps there. My mom's just bought a house upstate, and it's, she got a three story house. So I'm like, damn, who the fuck I'm gonna live? So I went to a hotel and blew a lot of money staying in a hotel. Mm. Then I sucked it up and I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna just go with this girl, just, you know, wait outside. Yo, I literally used to have to wait outside, like be out there for like mad long, like hours sometimes. And I would have to judge and pick people who I want to help me get up these four stairs. So I see you, I'm asking you, your son. I'm out here, yo, you can help me get up these stairs. I'm you, too. No, no, we, we, we got a friend, we got a friend in the chair, man. man. Oh, and, and, he, he, and I wish he only had four stairs. Yeah, he got a hundred. Yo, I swear to God. It feel like a thousand. He like, live on, it's wild standing. He live on the third floor. I feel like the fourth floor because there's steps just to get into his building. Oh, yeah. So you Crazy. already know what it is. I know what it is, man. Yeah, we, I know we exactly. definitely know. Up and down. Up like, and down. Uh, <laughs> That's yeah. what I'm mean. doing. travel. Like, yo, take me to the block. Take me down. Eh? Take me to... Don't be on check day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we know. So, yeah, so, so really four, them four steps really helped you. I got uh, it. See, you, you'd be good. You ain't like, had to ask. Like, I, I, yo, come on. You, you coming in, man? I love right? Y'all got tired of me, though, know, because I, I, nah. I, burnt, I burnt that bridge with, like, niggas used to be I used to see dudes stop at the corner. Oh, he out there. Like, I ain't out. Not tonight. Really? It'd be snowing. Because, you know, it'd be snowing it's sometimes. It's only four it's steps. Yeah. It's only see, four you steps. say four. Four. My man, the first set of steps is five. Okay. And then there's a little gap. Then there's Enough. ten. Then there's a little gap. Then there's a little gap. More. Then there's ten more. Then, then you pulling. Mo- now you in the building. Wait, it's one to get in the building. Then it's oh. like eight just to get to the first floor. Then you got two flights. Oh, we got to get Then you got four, right. four, two That's more flights. Like Matter of fact, we are gonna talk about helping him get yeah. out of there. Cause yeah, he, please. He, Cause. he been there for. It's crazy. So how did you get into a situation where you found a wheelchair accessible apartment now? Cause um, around the, you know what is crazy. As soon as I start doing good, shit just start coming. That's how it usually mm-hmm. happens. You know what I'm saying? As soon as I start doing good, we got a building right around the corner. Mm-hmm. Bathroom accessible. I ain't got no problems now. Right. My but this is crib. right around the corner. Where, where is it? Harlem? No, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. My girl. Mm-hmm. Okay. She, when I came, she, I lost the crib in Harlem, so when I came home, it's there. I, ain't, I didn't go stay with my mother. So the crib we got now is right around the corner, like literally around the corner. And it got the elevator, mm-hmm. the bathroom. Ramp, I ain't got no problems. I'm back That's to being independent now. That's I mean, I've ended up with before, but I used to have to get on the floor to go to the bathroom. That hurt your pride. Wait. Nah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are yeah. you yeah. having to ask well, well, for, for, yeah, yeah. for Harlem, yeah. dude? How did that, yeah. you know? You know, you know, I know Harlem is just That's different. my problem with my organization now. I don't know how to ask. I don't got the courage to ask. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I don't know how to ask for the bread. Yeah, mm-hmm. really so, like, and I, so that's what I'm trying to find somebody now that know how to do that mm-hmm. to ask for the money. Cause like you know, I'm just like, I, I got that like I've been in the system for four years and we ain't got no funding. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying the only money we get is from the people that help us. So I ask, it don't happen. We got to still get it done. You know right. what I'm saying I ain't gonna be the begging dude. You know what I'm saying I can't do the. I want to do the GoFundMe, but I was like, if you see, I got it up there already. 
I don't want to keep being a dude that you're going to see in your time. Like, Yo, donate, 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 help, help, help. You know what I'm saying? Right. I just can't do that. So I got to find somebody to do that for me because that is an intricate part of all of this. Yeah, because you, you need money. money. You yes. need money for your time because it's, yeah. it's an investment in the community. But at the same time, you need money to be able to do what you need to do and to be able to move through the community. You know what's sad, though? I don't think black people care about these kids. Mm. Mm. It's three different, it's three type of black people, right? Mm -hmm. You got the ones that made it, got their hands up, because mm -hmm. their kids is in Jordans. Mm -hmm. Their kids is good, they good, they got the BM, you know, they, so they got their hands up. They ain't really, oh, violence don't happen to my kids. Right. Oh, violence don't, I treat my kids, I train my kids better than that. Right. Nah. So be it, all right, then you got the savages, mm -hmm. and you got the people that want to help, that's going to do more than just like a Facebook post. The light workers. Right. right. And it ain't too many of us. Because our competition is the pill poppers, the rappers, the niggas getting money. They got, they got all is, their attention already. But this is why it's important, again, I'm going to say this again, that we do this and we sit here and we meet and we talk and yeah. we build together. And that we say things out loud and we talk on the microphone and we say that organizations like yours exist and that you need money and that you need funding and that, you, you know, yeah, it's, it's important that we say these things out loud and to promote it. You just know? like you said, there's, there's those three different types of black people. Because we, I ask people for help, and I didn't ask for money. I just asked for yo, give me some information. How you do this? Mm -hmm. you know, nah, like, and as soon as you ask, it's be like, no, you competition now. I can't give you, I can't give you the secret. <laughs> but you don't know the secret, nigga, because you're still coming up. Yeah. And part of the secret is giving the information. Right. People don't even know that. Do. That's part it. of the secret. Yeah, the exchange. I'm like, Yo, this is crazy. So yeah. Yeah. I had to figure yeah. it out. Nobody gonna Look, give you oh, nothing. Because the secret. Look you at what my book. Mean, you know, exactly. It's why I read it. Part of the yeah. secret is but the you, exchange. But you right. I had, I had this wrong. I had this upstate. <laughs> right. Xerox copy. Right. I had it with the staple in it. Big ass page. This with. I read it. And I pass it on to exactly. somebody I think that could be a real yeah, exactly. Right, but that's what we supposed to. We supposed I wish to, I still had it. We but supposed I had to, to give the knowledge it. away. Right. And if you to. see somebody like, oh, you know, what the Bible says, God right. help those who help themselves. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and I live by that. All right, I ask you for help. Mm -hmm. I'm not asking for money mm -hmm. because a lot of times things don't take a lot of money mm -hmm. to help. You just 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 give me the information I need so I can go from point A to point B to get it started. Because they, a lot of people don't even realize that with, with us, that right there, what you just said, giving them the information, mm -hmm. is what's going to stop them from stagnating. It's going gonna, it's gonna to keep them stagnant because we don't like to read. Like, boom, you say, yo, give me the information, right? Mm -hmm. and, I, and I pass you nine books this thick. Yeah, hey, that's all everything you need to know, mm -hmm. fam. They're going to where the cliff notes. <laughs> True. <laughs> like, now, 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 now we think about this word privilege. Now you looking at me like, come on, son, just give me the information. See, I didn't think of, see, this is my whole thing right here. Opportunity comes to those who create it. That was my, mm -hmm. when I, when I heard that, that sentence, this sentence right here is like, I can do whatever I want to do. Right. Because I'm going to create my own opportunity. Yeah, your own destiny is in your hands. And I'm going to put people on. Right. And I know there's people that's going to ride the bandwagon when I'm on. When you on. Yeah. I know that. Because yeah. right now, it's the, it's the process. Mm -hmm. We 11 episodes in. Mm -hmm. When I first did this, I wanted to get to 10. And it wasn't even called No Disrespect. You know, um, it just so happened, you know, things didn't work out well. And I spoke to that brother, and he got, I got a thousand percent support from that brother. Mm -hmm. So it's all good. But when I heard this, I knew I don't need nobody's help. I don't need nobody. A lot of this don't take a lot of money. Mm -hmm. This is a pair of Jordans. Mm -hmm. This is a sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. We already had this. Mm -hmm. You know, right. uh, I right. had this. You the know, rest of it things happen. Is so it here? That's a, it's our time. Is it here? Right. And, Whatever we can do to help your organization, right. just Absolutely. let us know, right. promote it, we'll definitely, you know. We have to. Because you got to pass it on. Because there's somebody else out there like you that's like, damn, I don't know where the fuck I'm going to go. Yeah. You know, know what to do. There's a kid in a wheelchair, yeah. younger than you, like, the fuck I'm going to do it the rest of my life now. Or well, hearing mm -hmm. you might stop somebody from being in the You know, wheelchair. somebody that got shot. You know? Innocent, you know, innocent bystander, like, yo. That's our niche, sis. Yeah. The wheelchair, like. Kids don't even realize this shit is possible. They be seeing jail and death and, 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 and getting ready for jail and getting ready to get the bullet. But you know, this shit is both. Mm -hmm. like, you free and you locked up. Right. You know what I'm saying? So this is this is this is what we like. 
I don't really like going into schools and talking about, and you know, not no disrespect, just bringing people with me that have been incarcerated mm -hmm. because the kids look at that like, oh, that's supposed to happen. It's glorified. Right. Oh, you gotta keep going. All right, yeah. so now, you know, they relate to that. Right. But when they see dudes rolling in in wheelchairs, I'm like, what happened? This is the, un the untold this is the story. the untold story. Right. right. It's the other you know shit that, that The other shit that will really fuck your life. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, call, you go to jail. Like, like before, like three weeks before I got shot, me and my man shot somebody, right? I can talk about it now because he did his time and I'm still doing my shit, right? Mm -hmm. And God bless the dad. You know, the dude is dead. So I can talk about it. So he did 18 and a half years. Mm -hmm. He's home now. He in Boston doing good for himself. I got away. Mm -hmm. I'm still paying. Right. It always yeah. comes full circle. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Always. Like you said in the beginning. Some way, somehow. Some way, somehow. It's always. Going, whether, you, whether, you, whether you rob a nigga for a thousand dollars, but then you turn around and you can't find five dollars in your pocket. You're like, damn, where that five dollars? Mm -hmm. That shit's adding up. <laughs> nah. That's what I say, y'all. Right. I was all day in the streets. And I'm like, damn, my money ain't right. The hood didn't tax me one way or another. Right. <laughs> another. You're you gonna get taxed. Yeah, the universe has taxed you. <laughs> right. Yes, the universe. You're right. For all that bad shit you put yeah. out, you gotta get you some type yeah. of way. Yeah. You don't get got. People need to live like that, though. People so, don't live like that. So now that you got your organization, the, the Wheelchairs Against Guns, you know, had there been a person you, you came across and be like, that, that came to you rather and said, yo, thank you. You know, you, you helped out a lot. Or, just hearing you made me want to do this, or, or, or just I'm comfortable now with my with the situation. I was talking to my man last night, um, and he was telling me he's like, you know, he straight up dog. We did a lot of shit. He's like, yo, son, I'm proud of you. He said he said he was proud of me and my man Tony. He's like, yo, cause I know y'all. Mm -hmm. I know the type of dudes y'all is. Mm -hmm. So to see y'all to be in there talking to them kids and, and schooling them like that. It's, it, it, you know, it, it makes me feel like, yo, I'm good because I know my mans and them is out there doing what they're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? I might still be on the dark side, but I know I got people out there that's doing good. So, and I know them, and I know the type of people you is. He said, he said, I know the type of person you is, yo. I know. So, and he couldn't even believe it in his mind. Like, yo, son, you doing this? Like, nah, you first, a lot of people thought I was fraud and like, yo, you trying to get this, you trying to get the easy non-profit money, ain't you, go? That's what you try to do. But I'm like, nah, I'm dead, dead ass in this shit. Like, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, my man definitely told me that last night. He's like, yo, son, I'm proud of you because I know the type of person you is. You know what I'm saying? I know. I know when you're back against the, get against the wall, you're going to go get some money. You know what I'm saying? I know you. I know you're going to punch a nigga in the face. You're going to shoot, whatever. I know you. So he's like, yo, for you, for me to see you change like this, and Tone, my man, he said, yo, my man, he said, he said, Tone draw everybody except for Jesus Christ and my man. <laughs> 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 Tone draw everybody except for Jesus Christ. And I said, yo, he's a funny thing. But yeah, so that's, you know, I, you know, I move like that. And I'm happy. And my man also told me another day that, because, I, like, I'll tell you straight, like, if I see my cousin, I don't know, like, in my mind, I just had it all, like, I'm throwing everything out the window. It's mm -hmm. that he beyond, you know, recognition. But my man was like, yo, son, you had to beg for your life. He a Muslim, so he's like, yo, Allah made you beg for, for your life so you could respect it. I was like, what? That makes sense. He mm -hmm. said, son, you been, he said, son, you done did all this shit in your life, you still alive. And you in a wheelchair, niggas look at you like you... They ask you all the time, I'm like, yo, son, why you how you move so much? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yo, man, it made me beg for my life to respect it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I said, you know what? Cuz got passed. Mm -hmm. It's not even worth it. And this, yeah. is your, this is your first cousin? Family. Wow. Well, how you yeah. feel about the dudes like outside today, like the the, the hustlers up today? Well, they ain't hustling. They ain't hustling, man. I don't know. No, no, I'm just saying, I'm just saying because you said you was out there in the eighties. Now, to me, when I look at the 80s and the 90s, I look at when y'all was hustling, y'all was helping each other out. Really? Like, you put your man on, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's like, right. yo, whoever, like, you know, your, your dude from your building. Definitely. Ah, right, yo, son, I got this. This yeah, is what he, we he, can he do to get up. this, you know yeah. what I mean? Or you, you saw a, a kid that you knew was, was, was fucked up, excuse me, and, like, look, you go to school, Mm -hmm. Hold it down. How you feel about these kids today? Where if they see a motherfucker fucked up, they will take this pack. You could do this. I don't even think there's packs no more, man. 
No, they, 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 it's the credit card thing, right? That's what I'm saying. No, it, it is huh? that too. That then, too, but there's still crack out here. No, no, no. Yeah, I mean, and, and dudes it's, still it's, think they could be it's the small next. Percentage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. They think they could be it. Listen, yeah, man. You know, especially down here in the valley. Like down here in Harlem, it, it's still crack money down here. Like mm. it ain't like cause I'm from Washington Heights. Washington Heights, you got everything up there. You got yeah. the, yeah, you yeah. got to make some of the weight. You got every you got pills. Yeah, yeah. You got everything up there. So you know, Pax might you from Harlem? No, no we found Bronx. Oh, so you I'm come know, so Pax still Bronx. exists in the Bronx. No, you know what I'm saying? No, but look, I'm gonna be honest with you. I started lit. I started lit. I was in, I started grinding in like '99 with crack. I always thought that I was gonna get to a point. Well, I got bitches backing up their titties out. I always thought it was going to be like yeah, that. Like yeah. And I got all these years in the game, and I still haven't got a bitch to back on her titties out. <laughs> and I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> so, <laughs> back on the whole series, on the serious track, though, Harpo. Remember Harpo? For what? The from, club, club, no, maybe from, from the block. Right. I'm like, 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 from, from the block, nigga. You, know, you used to call I, her Harpo. I don't remember. She look like Whoopi Goldberg. I don't remember, but go ahead. Oh, Peepy, right? We used to serve, we used to serve her all the time. People. Allegedly, serve her all the time. And, um. <laughs> this is where it gets funny. You know, you and, got um, and I ain't seen her for a while. I was in jail, but when I came, I ain't seen her for a while. But when I seen her, she was fucked up. Mm. She was fucked up. She got the little chair and all this shit. She got to sit on and walk with and shit. I'm like, yo, Harpo. I'm like, God bless you, cause I thought you went. I thought you was gone. She said, I might as well be. She said, I've been smoking since the '80s. I don't know how I lasted this long. And that clicked through my head. Like, damn. What was these crackheads about to be out of here soon? <laughs> no disrespect oh, to yeah, the crack. I see, I see what you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Cause you people know. ain't picking up the pipe like that. These kids ain't picking up the pipe. If you get, if you dealing with the pills and shit like that. You you yeah. probably doing your thing, but crack is dying. It's well, dying. It's, it's about to die. Well, you we know gonna, I'm a, then this is a better question. How you feel about the rappers promoting this? You heard my this, song this, this, joint, yo? You ain't heard my oh, song? Nah, the last been, thing I, I heard been, from my song was when he did with the, 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 the um. Oh, he got the mask. The, 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 the Trey, I'm not Trey, Troy Ave disc. Yo, I got to listen to his album, though. I got to hear that. Yeah, he got he good music, but he got the he got the um mask off remix right now, right? Yeah. And to. you said it. You said your crack is like dying. You said yeah, yeah. It clicked in my head because when they used to tell us crack killed back in the day, yeah. right? I used to be like, now when I'm thinking, I'm like, y'all still see fiends from mm -hmm. fucking '92, right. still crack, smoking, yep. and still alive, right? So now I'm like, yo, what the fuck? So now what they doing? Like you said, it is going down. It's like a, it's like a, a um, a old head, yeah, it's getting an old hot, head right? Thing. Exactly. So now with the music. They trying to condition a new drug. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now, Perkins says in three years, three years from now, four years from now, yo, how the how New York City was back in the days when Nicky Barnes and was out here, mm -hmm. it's gonna be the same shit with the Mollys. Don't. I don't dope. know what Molly is. Yeah. Molly's is, Molly is different from well, uh, uh, the, the purest form of ecstasy. No, I know the MDA, but they oh. ain't MDA what they doing. They taking it to the kitchen and doing some motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. So, what the, um... What oh, heroin, heroin, you know what's on? Heroin, heroin, heroin phase and heroin always come back. Heroin well, come back. I don't think it never leaves. Yeah, heroin don't never leave. Nah, it, 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 it get quiet, though. It, it get quiet for a little while. You know, I'm a chill. Let y'all niggas get the fuck over. Yeah, that's what it is. Exactly. They overshadow the heroin. They overshadow it. That's all. Because coke still sells it. Actually, heroin is the hardest drug to get off of. So now you think about Molly and Percocet. Percocet is is, is heroin. It is. Lean, is, lean is heroin. It Pretty is. Much. It's the it's the legal Who form to, yeah. to, to, yeah. to to you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You got the same effect to you. Yeah. So now you got these kids thinking it's cool to pop perks, and then they talking bad about crackheads. It's the same difference. They confused. Yeah. They are. They're not they're not they're it's gonna take a toll on them too, and they ain't, they don't know it. They, yo, they ain't gonna realize when they wake up and and that monkey on their back, and when they. They, they they shitting on themselves because they they don't know why it's it, young guy was dope fan. But some of them do. Let me just say that I just I just did an article. Shout out to FM Hip Hop Radio too. I just did an article on Playboy Cardi and and part of the article. I still haven't of, seen who this nigga is. I keep right. fucking you know, No, no but listen, listen, just take a listen to his music. And and part of one of the, and part of my research, I, I I read an article with him. 
And he's saying that he's actually trying to get off lean. Because in the beginning of his career, he's, he's like leaned out. But he's saying like, you know, he's saying to kids, I wish I would have never started it. But because of where I'm from in Atlanta, this is something we grew up thinking it was normal to just do because everybody was doing it. But now having the education about it, knowing the side effects is something he would never do. Something he would tell kids now, if you ever were thinking about doing it, don't do it. Because now he knows what it's doing to him and what it's doing to his body and what it's doing to the community. Right, so right. it is kids that, that do know. It's just that those kids are not being promoted in the limelight in that way where they're saying out loud, don't do it. You know, like... Man, it's, fan play is a major part. Yeah. Because yeah, I know so many people popping them perks and... Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And they tell you, I scraps, I itch. Oh, man, you see you... That's the hey, dope. Yeah, 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 that shit. Exactly. That's the dope. Because I know Chance the Rapper, he used to be like that too right. with the lean and the pills. And, and then he said he had to stop because it was fucking up his career. And as soon as he stopped, his career just... It took off. Okay. Chance the Rapper, um, Chance the Rapper, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar. Mm -hmm. Only platinum selling artists, right? Mm -hmm. So let's do the knowledge. All these all these dummies that claim they getting the bread, mm -hmm. that's on the radio all day promoting this bullshit, they ain't right. really selling, they ain't really right. selling the records. Right. Mm -hmm. Good, right. good, good after. I yeah. never thought of it like and, that. And this is why I'm curious to know, and I'm, what I'm not curious because I know the answer, but I want people to start to be curious to know why are they promoting these other artists and not the ones that are actually doing well and selling well. The ones that the, the, the people are whispering about. Like, why are they whispering, well, well, you know? And yeah. why is it not in heavy rotation on the radio? Why is the video not being played? Why is the J, J. Cole HBO special not being promoted? You know, why are we not seeing those type of things? If that's an artist who is but you know, doing good, well. Good product going to sell regardless. Yeah. No, I know. Whether good or bad. That I bad know. shit, that shit's selling, but it's really not doing but it. Why, right. but why, why are we of, showing but it? But the thing, you know why we're showing it? Because of what they have on. What do you mean? Fashion-wise? Fashion. -wise? The fashion mm -hmm. J. What, Cole. J no, no, listen. J. Cole, Kendrick, <laughs> Chance, no jewelry. No jewelry. Mm -hmm. J. Cole took his car back and fucking bought a bike. Motorcycle? Bought a bike. Pedal bike. A mountain bike. Right. Oh, you know what I mean? There's no ju there's no lavish lifestyle that, that, that you see them living. Because but then you enough. have but then you have little Yachty. Then you have all these little niggas. Little guys. Right, jewelry it all out. Most of the shit got to be fake. You know, you can't tell me these niggas is buying diamonds at the rate that they're buying them and saying that they're real. Yeah. Okay. Unless you just be. You're not. No. You're can't. not. I mean, I don't know the you did. industry, so I'm not gonna say it. You could even got even even back then when Puff was was buying the three chain platinum chain when he was going crazy, mm -hmm. they was the the, the jewelers was. Hyping it, six hundred percent on a yeah. diamond. So I know these little niggas yeah. who come. But you know, you're nineteen years, years old. old. You understand? Right now, I know. No, chill. Hold on. Diamond is low because they they found a way to produce um, big diamonds. They sell. They ain't going to have No, 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 no. That, I'm glad he said it. There's a lot of things. Uh, moistenite is moistenite is a man-made diamond. It's exactly. The same cut. Yeah. They do the same shit, but yeah. they. So that's what a lot of them is wearing. That's the a lot of them wearing, man. That shit ain't real. You know, and I'm just, I'm just looking at, and that's just, this is what they they they. See See, so this is what they want you to see. So the next little nigga that's gonna outside, I could rap just like that. I can get to Jew just like that, and I can get to chicks just like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's fucked up because when we from the hip hop era, absolutely. You know, I grew up on the conscious rap as well, X Clan. Yeah. I grew up. I listen to Mob Style. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And. Those dudes there was really getting it. Mm -hmm. Not you like when I seen Joe Budden ask Lil Yai, what kind of deal you got? Like, I don't know. Yeah. Nigga, mm -hmm. you don't know? You don't know. I bet you anybody you anybody find out. money. Exactly. Well, he doing no fro uh them no, niggas um, no scrubs remix. <laughs> Leo Cohen and all the rest of them niggas would be like, doing. yeah, okay, give me my shit off the top. Yeah, Here's your thirty six cent. Off every album you sold, Go brother. save yourself on that And this nigga right said all he want to do is have fun. Oh, really? This I is a billion dollar. I know it's no sense to the autistic community, but I look at a little Yachty and I listen to the rhymes like he might be the first autistic rapper. But He's not something. Uh, He's something. I think, I think what's his name? I think what's his name is uh, 
Design, no disrespect to Design. I think he got Tourette's. Yeah, I seen him on, bro. Because he can't like, even talk. He wow. was like, yeah, 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 yeah,
So all of a sudden it was like, oh, so man, like just went out the window. Coochie just went out the window. Titties, just they said fuck titties. Yeah, fuck everything. But no, it was I mean, all about no, a fat no. ass. It's not really. It was all I like the fat ass. ass. I like the no. fat ass, but I like the natural looking ass. Difference between a fat ass because Sir Mix a lot. You watch Sir Mix a lot now, and that dude watch that video, and he said, well, I like big butts. Now one bitch on there got a big butt compared to these bitches. Oh, oh, so sorry. Excuse my language. No mean to disrespect anybody. If you look at the women in his video back then talking about he liked big butts. They ain't had big butts. They just little little round joints, little yeah. but it wasn't like but, what you see today. That's, today that's my point that it's you extreme. see a chick with, with little pencil legs mm -hmm. with Yeah, like what are it's you extreme. Doing? The idea of what a nice ass is is not a nice ass back in the day didn't mean big. It was just a nice ass because it was nice. Mm -hmm. It didn't fat. matter if it was fat. It could. Firm. It didn't have to be fat to be nice. It could be shaped a certain way. Yeah. And it was nice. Because one, like every that. once in a while, you had a, a female with a tremendous ass, and you knew it was natural because none of that shit was happening. Yeah. Right. But it was like every hundredth woman right. had that ass. Like goddamn. Yeah. That's you know. And you know what? The bitch. I'm oh, sorry. The women. <laughs> we learning, guys. We're learning. Right. No, no, sorry. <laughs> we talk like sailors. I, I worked at UPS for 10 years. I work with truck drivers. I'm getting out of it too. Um, the women too with the big butts, like you said, were not normal. So when we, not not normal, but it was like a, 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 a bonus. When you saw the big butt, it was like, oh, her thing is super big. Oh, look at look at Fatima with the big butt. You know, that was a thing we identified as being Shout not normal. Fatima. So what did you know? they start doing the butts? What year did they start doing the butts? 2012. Yeah. Wow. I know it was recent. Was it around J-Lo? It was, or, or, what was it around J-Lo? I think it was around that era. It was around, it was around Nikki because Nikki came okay. out. Yeah. Because, because she came in. Because she came in was with pretty. Something. When she came out with big, Ken was pretty all... Yeah, Everything, she, she, yeah, yeah, because yeah, when Nikki, yeah, you're right. When Nikki came out, 2010? it was because I was looking like, what? So what was we saying before 2010? Nothing. We were fucking them <laughs> and we're no. loving it. That's it. It was <laughs> natural. It was, it was like you if you saw that good. hundredth woman with the ass, you, was lucky. you were like, oh shit. Yeah. The only way a woman had a nice ass, a big ass, if she had kids. Not true. Cause no, sometimes I'm just it saying. Sometimes just ugly and just, that's the only thing going for them. No, but, okay, a lot. I know, I know a lot of ugly so, chicks had a nice body. I do too. In high school, but <laughs> I know a lot of chicks who had kids. It just and got a And was like, oh, damn, she's still kind of fucking ugly. <laughs> that body is nice. Yeah. That was a kid. I so, mean, you yeah. know. And then they had that dumb shit. Fuck him in the ass. And oh, the, the ass was shot. Uh, oh yeah, I think, I think, some dumb I think shit. along the along the lines, the image the, the imagery got mixed with the words with social media. I think that's what happened. That's when the turn happened. It, all around the era of social media, um, because before that there was no platform to look at asses, right? We were looking at asses on people. No, 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 no. We had the no. videos. Yeah, videos. Yeah, yeah, uncut. but uh, was uh, it, it was uncut. Uncut. Oh, but uncut. We were talking about asses, though. But yeah. was something uncut was real butts, right? Yeah, no, uncut but was, was but uncut was so. It rare. was so it was, rare exactly, because it was rare. It was things that were. You had to literally to had to take a nap in the daytime right. to, to make sure you stay up so for fucking it twelve. Wasn't in your face, oh, shit is seven, coming right? up. We got on some black tail. Yeah, yeah, you know, or, or porn. Well, other than that, but um, yeah. any more any more questions we got? That's what, what you can just tell us what other ways people can reach you if they Absolutely. wanted to know about your organization um, or what other ways you you uh, uh, promote what you do. Um, IG, um, wheelchairs against guns, um, Facebook, WAG, Kareem Nelson, my government. I don't do, t I don't mess with Twitter. I haven't figured you that out yet. Um, email yeah, address, yeah. email address is on wheelchairs against guns, NYC, Gmail. Um, and everything is on the website, wheelchairs against guns, that all. If you want to, um, everything is there. If you, what you ever want to do, you want to find, you want to book us, you want to make a donation, everything is there for you. You know uh, do you have like an office that you got? Nah, go nah, we, uh, we still, we still, oh, we still okay. fight. Yeah, we, okay. we in the same battle, baby. <laughs> you see, we see where we at. We getting it done though, right? Yeah, we, we gonna get it done too. We gonna see um, one top too. One hand wash the other, both wash the face over there. You know, so. Um, on that note, we want to thank you for coming. First official guest. Yes. Yes. You know, episode great guest too. Um, great knowledge. Yes. Hope you know you prosper with everything that's going on. Um, which uh, which I got going on, you know. We gonna wrap this up, you know. 
Well, Happy birthday to you again. Second yeah. birthday being home after doing a five year stretch. Yeah. Birthday. Oh know. no, I don't even call it a stretch, man. It's just cool. Being blind, man. I, I could dig it. Two years. After being blind for all them fucking years, I finally opened my eyes and realized how great life could be, I'm man. A, I'm a, I'm, God bless you, brother. And I'm going to just let you know your son's going to give you hell. That's all right. Be prepared. Right. He, he better know shit. I can fight. <laughs> you going to know that from the jump. Like, like, same with the check. <laughs> yeah, that is <laughs> so what you got going on? Uh, um, what I got going on? Okay. Oh, matter of fact, you got an announcement. Go ahead. Oh, say your know. shit. Spill your up. beans. Give it up. Uh, you, you, dang, you, you put me in the spot like that. I wasn't nervous when you said that. Let me just say one thing before you start. I forgot to say. All right, go Currently, right now, we doing it. We got... um. Doing a campaign trying to raise money for the schools to put these workshops in because yeah. ironically that the, the schools that need it, the Board of Ed don't never have the money for. Wow. So WAG, we took the opportunity, we trying to, you know, raise the money to um we, we got we closing the school out strong. So far people are sponsored seven schools. So now we're just trying to finish that out. So next year we be in schools with that don't that don't have the budget but they still get the, the workshop. So that's oh, the campaign good. that we That's, that's really good. That's dope. All right, let that's us know. Oh, it's all right. Let us that's know what you need us to do. If you got right. we gotta do a podcast at wherever you at, we we mobile. Oh and one last yeah and for the kids, if y'all know kids, we right there on one hundred fifty fifth Sugar Hill Classics. This year we partnered with the WNBA for our scholars. Hey. Um we got a um, Friday we got a men's group. Saturday and Sunday, starting the first week of June, we start our basketball clinic. Uh, we got the basketball tournament. I think this year we're bringing in teams from Harlem. So if y'all know any kids that y'all want to get a team, that no podcast, we can put y'all in um, right there on 150. If y'all know some kids that box, we got a boxing program out there Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 4. Right along with the um, basketball program okay, for that's kids. That's cool. Because I got, I got my son, so I can get, right. I want to get him in boxing. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. yeah. My son needs some boxing. Yeah, he he needs oh, to yeah. get well, the knockout. I'm going to have to take him, too, because my son ain't going to try me. Like, yeah, you can fight. I'll be training. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say, yeah, we do that. So. That's right there in the 20th <laughs> Park, right up the stairs, 155th and St. Nicholas. All right. All right. All right. Now, Sonny, your big announcement? It's not a big announcement. It's a big announcement. All right, the announcement that he's referring to is that I just been added to the FM Hip Hop family as one of the writers. Oh, um, fuck on that. You gotta yeah, be yeah, 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 yeah. Get the fuck yeah, out of here. Let's go. Right Along with uh, Cherry Martinez, Tashima Jones, Tashima Jones Media. So uh, it's a big deal for me. Um, so shout out to them um, and all the other writers that are along with us on on the blog. Um, um, we're starting from the from the bottom, but it's already we stream twenty four seven. Um, you can check out the website, fmhiphop.com. Um, like I said, we stream it 24-7, and everything is on there from hip-hop, uh, fashion, entertainment. Um, and I posted my first article today. Like I said, it's on Playboy Cardi. Um, check it out. Um, it's more to come. Um, and it's, it's just big things that are starting. Everybody, I think, that I'm linking up with right, right, right now is trying to spread the message about whether it be unification, music, and positivity, good energy, whatever it is. Um, I'm loving it and I'm I'm loving the connections that's being made. So that's a big thing. So Love shall prevail. That's right. Mm-hmm. So um yeah. You can also catch me DSN network Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays, American Dream Radio. Mondays and Wednesdays from twelve to two and on Fridays from eleven to one. I'm also I'm on there too and every Saturday we're here. Mm-hmm. We started yeah. early though. We we good. Yeah, we we started, early, but every Saturday uh, podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, to I guess God bless and many more. Right? Yes, many more. This is it's all the beginning. I don't see an yeah. ending for this. Also, no, yeah. this this is this is this is it. This is the root. Well, this, the this ain't costing y'all money. This part right here is really you know the Jordan the sweatshirt. Yeah. This is the easy part, so it ain't right, really costing yeah. no money. So you could do this forever. So let, no, we we're, we're gonna do this forever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't <laughs> care. I don't care what radio station gets me. You're right. Yeah. I'm coming back to do this. The only way we ain't gonna do this is we doing this somewhere else. Right. Like, being in a bigger studio. I'm going to be in Dubai. You're going to be in China. You're going to be somewhere. You're going to be doing it. Come on. Listen. I can't go so far. I'm going to 